Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com. Now, I always enjoy getting suggestions for video lessons, you know, for things from a lesson series or even for these quick tips videos. So when an online student of mine, Mike, gave me an idea for taking a tune and really kind of going through the process or at least demonstrating some of the uh, vocabulary that I like to use or that I like to instruct, then um, then I thought, hey, what a great idea. So I thought, well, let's take a tune from my Soloing on Tunes lesson series. By the way, I've got the Soloing on Tunes lesson series available on the Jazz Improv Lessons page of beginningsax.com. So I hope you'll check out the complete lesson. But I thought I'd take one of those tunes from that series, the Soloing on Tunes All of Me, and use the chord progression from All of Me over a series of these quick tips videos in the coming weeks to uh, kind of gradually work up the vocabulary. So I thought in this first one, we, we just start with the basic triads. I mean, what's more fundamental to your understanding of a chord progression than just knowing the triads that go with the various chords? So, um, you know, you might want to look up the chord progression on your iReal app or on um, Hal Leonard's um, real book so that you've got the complete chord progression transposed for your instrument. I'll probably in the video I'll subtitle the chords for the tenor sax as they go by. But I'm going to take my play along the track from that lesson and I'm going to do two passes with the play along track. Now I'll stop between passes to kind of help us get reorganized but in this first pass I'm going to just play the triads in root position. The triads now that's the one three five arpeggio that goes with each chord. Now I want you to notice that as I play with the play along track track. I, I am just going to be using the basic triads in root position again like I said but I'm going to try to play them with good time you know with a good feel so I'm still going to try to make some 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 music to a certain degree out of this so hopefully it'll uh, sound like a musical exercise okay so here we go there's the first pass So on my next pass with the triads, I'll take more of an improvised approach. So rather than playing everything from root position, I'll concentrate still on playing just the triads on each chord, but I'll work to create lines to connect the chord changes and really almost tell an improvised solo or story using still exclusively triads, but just no longer in, in root position necessarily. At least the root has no more weight than the other tones in the triads.